also, um, you know, creating teasers for the show, post-show. So when I think about a producer, I think about pre-production, production, production, and Mm post-production. So, um, you know, pre-production is is all the planning and getting the right people in place and and setting up, you know, the date, the time, advertising it, you know, setting it on social media, trying to get audiences. And then the, you know, the production takes place, the actual production and everything that goes in there with queuing the talent and playing the sponsor material and watching the time and setting the guidelines and, and, you know, getting people ready to go on. And then the post-production is really, um, what, what I recommend is watching the entire podcast because um, there's so much value in watching it. You need to watch that thing from beginning to end after the show. Un, uncut, unedited, just okay. rewatch it raw. Yeah, because there's a lot of value to be gained in re-watching something wall to wall. You can sit there with a notepad and you can say, you know what, that really went well. And you can say, oh, I should have done this. So you're always going to have a learning moment when you go back and review the full episode. You might say, oh, it was too long in the tooth with this, <laughs> you know. So uh, it's valuable. It's absolutely valuable. And yeah. then and then also um, editing the show. You know, you might realize, ooh, okay, we did that and it was live. But now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out that one minute gaff because I don't want that gaff in there. So you can just magically get rid of it. So the pacing, the running, and the editing. Now, live versus recorded, are there major differences in your mind for a producer? Oh, yeah. I mean, recorded, you can, you know, start and stop and say, you know what? I don't like the way you did that. I'm sorry. Let's take a break. Okay. And in three, two, one, re-ask the question. You know, so the difference between live and taped is, Taped is, you know, you can do it as many times as you want and make it perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, taped might be better for somebody who is not accustomed to uh, doing things live, perhaps. But I always say go with live. It's so much easier. People think taped is easier. It is not easier. It's so much easier to do it live because it's 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 you're done. You know, you get it done and it and it's over with. But do your prep before. What are maybe some of the landmines or things to watch out for, for a producer, for those that are, because I am, I know lots of people that want to be in the podcast business, but they swear I never want to be on microphone. Don't put me on camera, but I want to help my buddy out. What's, what's maybe some very important things either to do or not to do. Not to do. Uh, if you want to, if you don't say that again, I don't think what I would be some tips to give a producer that they should not be doing. What are some things that would be a bad producer or uh, something to do that's not going to help the show? Oh, oh, I think I think some terrible things uh, for a producer to do would be, um, you know, to get people anxious about, um, you know, if you're stressed out and your vibe is OK, OK, we're really running behind and you're, you know, you're frenetic and you're and you're speaking at a very um, stressed pace. That's just going to freak everybody out. You know, you have to be the one at the helm steering everybody. Mm-hmm. You have to make it seem like everything is going to be okay. Because <laughs> ultimately it will. No one's going to die here, right? So uh, so I think a producer has to be calm. A producer has to be organized. A producer has to be prepared. Uh, and, and a producer has to be early, right? And diligent. And have that follow-up. And if you don't have those skills, you're, you know... It's it's not going to be pretty, but um, maybe start with something taped where you can sort of learn the ropes, learn the ropes. Like when that. it comes to that host podcast relationship, I'm, I'm going to go back there again. I've had other experts say, "Do not pick your best friend. Pick someone oh, that you get uh, along with, but they can tell you to shut up." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I, I mean, I don't work with any of my friends because you know I just don't like to mix business and pleasure personally. Um, everybody has their expertise. Um, Hey, listen though, there's, it was interesting because last week, um, I was visiting one of my friends and there were these two girls, um, and they're so fun and they're so bubbly. And I thought you guys should have your own show, but I'll be your producer because they would, they would probably kill each other. You know, they're so close and that's what they need to do is they need to stick to the talent. They feed off one another. They're really fun. If they start worrying about, you know, uh, the logistics and the technical part, they're going to get lost and they're going to lose that magic. 
Yeah. You know, part of the magic of being a host is, you know, someone hires you to be a host because you have a specific skill. You might have the right demographic. You might have uh, the right expertise. You're filling uh, a position there that is needed. So you got to concentrate on that. It's super important. You know, it, a host is, is very important. It's the front person for the brand. Right. You know, and the host might not even own the podcast, right? The producer probably owns the podcast. <laughs>